Gospel of Luke chapter 1 35 The power of the Most High overshadow you. The Holy Spirit will come. You are conceived, you will see the child of God. Dear friends, today we pray for the gift of child. How to pray for the gift of child? All over the world, large number of couples praying in tears for the gift of child. How we have to use spiritual principle? What are the spiritual secrets to receive the gift of child? Always remember these four principles. One is faith and all the miracle happens you have to believe it you have to believe it is possible for God God is telling to Mother Mary nothing is impossible Luke 1 37 nothing is impossible for God and Matthew 21 22 Luke 1 37 we see it the God, nothing is impossible for God. Matthew 21, 22. All things are possible. If you believe it, for all the believers, all things are possible. All things are possible. So this is the first thing you have to believe it. Secondly, remember God created everything with the word of God. So second principle is the word of God. Let there be light. Light came to existence. Lazarus come out. Lazarus came to life. It is the word of God is the power of creation. And thirdly the anointing. The spirit was covering over. And the creation begins. We begin the Genesis in the first chapter in the beginning. The spirit was covering over. The creation began. Finally the fourth principle thank the Lord Archilo 24 believe and receive thank the Lord it is created so these are the four principles how to pray how to use it you have to go on confess it you have to go on confess it you have to pray you have to confess it I remember one incident I remember it is Goa. One old man was conducting, 80 year old man. He was conducting the prayer groups. And I noticed, I heard all the people coming, the childless couple, all are receiving the gift of child. So this old man was telling, they are going on repeating, 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 very with the consistency every day, continuously, the consistent way, they were repeating the Luke 135. The power of the Most High overshadow. The Holy Spirit is upon me. The power of the Most High overshadow me. I am conceived. I am conceived. I am conceived. And I receive the God's child. So when you say, I tell you at least the word I have conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is upon me. The power of the Most High overshadow me. I am conceived. I am conceived. I am conceived. I will see the God's child. So the word you have to go on minimum thousand times every day. I tell you every day get up in the early morning. Early morning, get up in the morning. At least spend 20 minutes, 20 minutes in the deep silence, early morning. And you have to sit in front of the Lord. And the Bible says all the people looking at the face of the Lord, they became radiant. They became joyful. They received the God's blessing. Look at the God's face, Jesus' face. And receive the anointing. It is in the early morning. Minimum 20 minutes with all the feeling. Why I am telling that feeling it is called anointing. Anointing it is not abstract. It comes very emotional level. 
all the feeling. You have to feeling means you feel the joy. My prayers are answered. You visualize. You feel it. That child, the child in the womb, see, visualize it, imagine, picture it, feel it. An anointed child in your hand. I feel it in your child in your womb and hold it. The feeling in the child in the womb and say, "I am conceived. The power of the Holy Spirit is upon." I am conceived I am conceived I am conceived I receive the anointed child God's favor is upon me God's favor is upon me the holy spirit is upon me I am conceived I see my child remember this four sentences God's favor is upon me I am holy spirit is upon holy spirit is within me I am conceived I am conceived I am conceived. This word, the third word, minimum of some time, I am conceived. And I will see you, my child. And this four sentence minimum together, at least a hundred times in the morning. Morning, 20 minutes you spend it and claim it in the, in the name of the Lord. And I give you, I, it is a, faith is an assurance. Faith is an, it is a guarantee. You will receive the child. And it is a it is an experience. In, it is my uh, pastoral life. People coming with the. I have one incident. One testimony. I remember when I was to last another parish, last in Bombay, and she is around the 48 years old. 48 years old. She lost all the hope. Going off to the doctors and everything, and. Every day morning she was coming in front of the Lord, in front of the Mother Mary. Sometimes she goes into uh, Bombay Beauty side, the cross by then also. She, it is a miracle cross. She used to go and sit there. This word she was confessing, the Holy Spirit is upon me, the power of the Most High washed on me, God's favor is upon me. I am conceived, I am conceived, I am conceived, I am conceived. It is like the Throughout next three months, three months, four months, you continuously set apart, focus for this intention. And it is like a prayer is like a what we call it. It is a spiritual warfare. You claim it is in the name of Jesus, whatever may be the blocks, we cast out, we break it in the name of Jesus. Nothing is impossible for God. Abba Father, for your things are possible. I increase my faith and say, God's favor is upon me. God's favor is upon me. I am conceived. Holy Spirit is upon me. God's power is upon me. I am conceived. I receive a child. And thank the Lord with your child. And suppose you are praying for Maybe your daughter, maybe your your children, your son, pray. Bless that couple. Suppose your uh, your daughter is childless, your son is having and the marriage is not blessed. You bless that couple. The spirit of the Lord is upon them. God's favor is upon them. They are conceived. My son, my daughter is conceived. My daughter in law is conceived. She is conceived. She is conceived. Use the third pronoun the third pronoun the if you are praying for yourself you sit i am conceived first person if you are praying for your daughter you pray second person or third person you were conceived you were conceived you were conceived we remember in the study of the bible jesus sent the word jesus sent the word and they were healed and the creation being God sent the word Lazarus come out Lazarus came let there be light light came came to existence so you have to send the word you are conceived you are conceived you are conceived you are conceived and receive the child and it is miracle prayer this is a miracle prayer because we are using the faith Word of God, anointing, and thanksgiving, and thank the Lord, I am conceived, 
and give the testimony. God, God bless you and give glory to God. And one more thing I want to tell you. If you feel it, what I am teaching is absolutely it is a spiritual law. Why I am telling spiritual law means it is a really it is a science. The word become flesh. If you feel it is working for you. If you are a childless couple, you pray for not only for you, you remember at least uh, ten other couples who are not having the children. Like you, they also cry. You intercede for others also, other couples also. And surrender them into the heart of Jesus. Like me, any other person is childless couple crying for a child. And you can share this prayer for others also, not for any other thing. So they also will be encouraged, they also will be blessed. So do the work of evangelization. And if you search the king, why I am telling you have to give the word of God for others. Any with divine wisdom, you get it. Don't keep it with you. You have to share it. Because when you search the kingdom of God, everything will be added unto you. That is why the spiritual principle, you have to apply it to yourself and you have to teach others. And that is the work of evangelization. That is the way the kingdom of God is manifested. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you with the anointed child of God in your life. Amen. Thank you.